Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in an earlier video, I showed how we could use Compi Component to create a new part based on another part, the whole time keeping both of the parts, the original and the copy, inside the same assembly. But there were comments in my blog that raised a very valid point. What about Save and Replace? This also is a really good tool. What this lets me do is it lets me create a new version of a part based on another part inside the assembly. But instead of reusing both, I can swap the original with now the new copy, putting that copy in the same place while keeping all my constraints intact. So now, let's take a look. We're going to focus on this piece of molding. It's actually the same one we used in the previous video. But instead of copying it and using it to create the component on the side, we're going to copy it and replace it. Basically, the scenario is we don't want to get rid of the old part, we just don't want to use it in this assembly. Maybe that old part is used in other assemblies and we don't want to mess those up. Now I can go to my productivity panel on the assemble ribbon, pull the flyout open, and choose Save and Replace. I pick my component, and Inventor asks me for a new file name. This is the new component. I go ahead and type in that name, and when I hit OK, Inventor swaps the original for the brand new copy. The constraints stay the same, and I'm ready to go. It's a nice little workflow saver. Saves them a lot of time, makes life a little easier. So if you need to go ahead and do this, swap one component for a brand new one, take a look at this tool. It'll really help you out. Thanks for watching the video, and thanks for those of you who made the comments in the blog. We'll see you next time.